Right, so this is kind of one of my favourite videos that I've made in a while actually, and it's about exploring the weird and wonderful effects in the Helix, things that you might not have tried before um, to get some of those weirder sounds that we are starting to see more and more of. So things like the Chase Bliss Mood, things like the Strymon Night Sky, maybe things like the Microcosm Hologram thing, you know, things that do something a little bit different than traditional guitar effects. I was reading a post online and uh, someone suggested this is maybe where the next generation of modelers might be doing things that are slightly different. And I thought actually the Helix is already doing quite a lot of stuff which is, I think, different to any other modeler. There's not really any other things out there which are doing some of these kind of things like the shuffling looper, the glitch delay, the uh, infinite freeze type stuff. Basically you can mimic quite a lot of these pedals, I think, in the Helix, so I wanted to show you some of that. Um, feel free to like and subscribe, I don't know what we're aiming for on this channel, but I'm sure hitting subscribe, liking, and leaving a comment probably helps with whatever that aim ends up being whenever we get there. And so the things that I want to cover in this video, I want to look at quickly at the shuffling looper, there's other videos on that. Also the megaphone distortion, which I found useful, the pitch ring mod, which I found useful, and maybe a couple of other things. So uh, we'll dive in in a sec. So what I love about these sorts of effects like the Chase Bliss Mood and Strymon Night Sky, bits and pieces like that, is that they can give you a really inspiring effect and give you something to play off so you can kind of be improvising around that and that can springboard off to, you know, a song or whatever. 
what I don't like about them so much is that they're really expensive for what ends up being quite a specialised piece of kit that you don't necessarily use all the time. So that Chase Bliss Mood is not necessarily the sort of thing you get tons of use out of all the time. Sort of one of those specialist bits of kits that you might get out occasionally. So these effects in the Helix are things that I, I like to use for that similar sort of thing. So let's just start off with, so I'll just explain. <laughs> This preset is freezing, and this path here has the freeze line. So the first thing I thought was, this ring mod, we can add some glitchy stuff in and improvise around with that. So sort of taking things to a different kind of territory, more of that low kind of res stuff. Similarly, the megaphone, I found a use for this on that same path. All together. A really cool way, simple way uh, to add some kind of um, movement and low bit kind of low resolution inspiration type stuff to a tone, you know, so if you've got like a freeze preset that's going on. that to kind of think outside the box quite a bit and I think that's a cool thing that you can use that for. Other things to use here might be an Asheville pattern so this is like a Moog type so filter, filter, stereo filter. So same sort of idea it's on the freeze preset. <laughs> With that you could achieve similar sorts of things to a Strime on Night Sky. It's just a couple of ideas there. Then another thing that I really like is the attack synth. So in this preset, that's not the right one. So for that I'm using the Legacy Synth, uh, if we go here, the Pitch Synth, Legacy Attack Synth, and that to me has got kind of Evangelist kind of tone, and I really, really dig that. Definitely, I think, one that you need to know about if you're into this kind of otherworldly stuff. And then, what was the other thing I wanted to talk to you about? Oh, the shuffling looper. The shuffling looper, you can kind of do chase bliss mood type things. So if we start the loop.
like a shorter loop. Hold on, what am I doing? I think that's cleared it. again to change the sequence and double press it to stop it. So those are just some examples and I find instant inspiration with that shuffling looper um, so hopefully you enjoy that as well um, but just some of the kind of futuristic and more creative effects that are in the Helix that I think maybe a few people would like to know about. Um, Feel free to leave comments about other things that you dig. Maybe the retro reel for those kind of tape sounds. Those can be quite inspiring for this sort of thing, especially when paired with a looper, like the Chase Bliss blooper. Um, but let me know if there's other things you like to use. Have you got anything which kind of like um, modulates uh, a signal in some way that is inspiring? Uh, hopefully that um, gets some people going, and I'll catch you in the video soon. Cheers.